All right, everybody, welcome back to my animal house. We're down here in the hide, and yep, we got a couple new family members. I say a couple because uh, I got two of them. They're two different kinds, but uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Look, I can't focus them in. Watch this. See how this one is clear? And this is the other one. But if I put them together, the camera goes blurry because I think it thinks it's one image. It won't focus in. If I take away one, it'll focus. Focus. Put the two together. It won't focus. So I do have two of them. So uh, as a kid, I've always loved scorpions. Always. I've had them. My brother used to have them all the time. We, used to, we have them out here in the woods too, the littler scorpions. And, uh, and I've had a couple of the... Uh, the emperor scorpions too and that's what i was in the search for i was in the search for an emperor scorpion we traveled around probably 150 200 miles today to different pet stores just searching around trying to find these guys so uh and i found this one first and the one that we're looking at is uh not an emperor scorpion it's supposed to be a black forest scorpion and yeah and i was kind of looking for the emperor scorpion so i looked up these guys and they say uh that they're pretty much the same scorpion but um let's zoom in a little it's whoop, a little too far. Rookie move. All right, yeah, but they say uh, they're pretty much the same scorpion, but um, this one's on rear. I'm going to look into the differences of them and all that, and as I learn more about them, you guys will learn more about them. But as of today, I was like, no, nah, I don't know if I want that one because they say it's on rear. So I was like, well, let's go look around for a little bit more to see if we can find an emperor scorpion, which we did, which is this guy. And uh, the other one had a, the, his tail is a lot blacker than this one. And this one is the emperor scorpion, and that's the one I was kind of after. So uh, then when I was like that, I got to thinking about it, and I was like, man, it'd be kind of cool to have both to see what the differences are. So we went back to the first original pet store when I seen the other one, and bang, now I have two of them. Which I can't film both of them at the same time, because we just went over that, so that's kind of crazy. But the other one is, like this one, he's pretty shy. I could probably pick him up. I used to pick him up before, back in the day when I had him for a while, but these guys I just got today. And yeah, I can tell, this guy's way skinny. And I wouldn't, I don't, I don't know if I'd say he's way skinny, but compared to this guy, here, let me zoom back out so I can get him in the frame easier. Compared to this guy, this guy's chunky, but in his cage, he came in this cage and there was, there's already three or four crickets in there. He's nice and fat and boy, he is, he, he's testy. He, you can tell he's, he's a lot more standoffish than that one is. But you can tell he's a lot thicker, so he's got crickets in there. This one didn't have any crickets, and he was in with like two or three, so he might not be eating as much. But we're going to get him eating for sure. And like I said, uh, the main difference right now, the only thing that I can see is the, the color tail difference. This one's black, that the stinger, and the other one's white. And I know the emperor scorpion, when it gets bigger, it'll turn red. So that's going to be a good sign. And this one here, the forest scorpion, the claws are smooth. And they're skinnier at the fat part than, that sounds weird, skinnier at the fat part. But it's skinnier than at the fat part than it is, let's see, than the emperor scorpion is. See how it's got a rougher texture? Let's zoom in. We've got a rougher texture on the pincher itself. And it's a lot wider than, than, the, than the four scorpion. So we're going to be able to tell the difference. And there is differences in these two scorpions. So it's going to be fun learning with you. And, uh... I'm going to learn a whole bunch about them, and I'm going to video it, and we're going to learn together along the way, so it's going to be really fun. All right, so what I'm going to do today is, now that I've introduced them and I've talked a little about them, because I don't know a, a ton about them. Back in the day when I had these, there wasn't a lot of internet to search, or there wasn't internet at all to search when I, probably the first one of these that I owned, so... Uh, it was all just kind of what the pet stores told you, so it's, like I said, it's going to be fun to learn. But now I'm going to set them up a little, um, I got them five and a half gallon tank. They say a 10 gallon tank for them when they get adults. These guys are still pretty small. They got a lot of growing to do, so I think these five and a half will do them good. So uh, I'm going to get one set up. I'm going to put some substrate in there. I'll hide some, just some stuff in there, and uh, I'm going to take you along the way, but I'll probably uh, do the time lapse through a lot of that. We'll talk a little bit through it. So here we go, and uh, I'll set up, and we'll get ready to... Uh, set up one of these tanks all right everybody i got my tank set up here and uh i got my bucket here i got some i don't know how well you'll be able to see it inside of there i got some eco earth in there that i swelled up it's been sitting for a while it's nice and swelled up and they like to burrow a little bit and all that so they said this is really good substrate to keep up the humidity for them and uh 
So I'm going to put in about two, three inches probably, enough to where they can, you know, dig if they do want to and that kind of thing. So I'm going to set one, each, two tanks up identical. So I'll only show you one. I'll probably fast forward this next part. I'm just going to fill the dirt in there and kind of get it packed in. So, so uh, some of the stuff I'm going to use, I, I got a, I've got them a little high. This is one of the plastic ones. It's not actually a wooden one. It'll be easier to disinfect and clean. So I'll be, I have one of these for each one of the tanks. So I'll just I'll slap that in there right there. Like that down a little bit. They, they can do all that kind of stuff themselves. So that'll be really cool. And then I have, um, let me show you this right here. This is one of the, it's made by Zilla. I think it's one of the like dins they have. So when it comes apart, you can take it apart and they can go in there. But um, a lot of the times I'll use these as hides just upside down where they just kind of go in there, which is really cool. But for this one, <clears throat> and I never use the top hardly. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this in there. It's kind of like a little decoration. They can climb over the top of it, just give them something to play on. And if they do want to burrow underneath, there is an opening in there so that, you know, it could be another hide if they did or if it decides to dig. So I'll put that in there, and then I got one little water dish. And I got me a little water dish, and you don't want it to be very deep, because these guys will drown if they fall in it or something. They're not very bright. So I just cut out a little sponge like this, and I'll just put it right in here, and I'll fill this full of water, and they can drink from this. The crickets can drink from this if there's crickets in there, and they won't. There's no way for them to drown, so that'll help them a bunch. So I'll just put this way down in there, kind of level it out a little bit. where they can get a drink if they want. All right, let's get an overhead view here. Got their hide. Got the big boulder in there they can walk over. Got the water dish over there. I'll get some water in there. And like I said, if they do end up, you know, digging underneath here, there is a cavity in there, so they can use it as another secondary hide. I say they because I have two, but only one will be in this cage, so depending on which one's going to be in here. Well, they can do what it wants, so hopefully that'll keep up the humidity with the substrate. And like I said, this room stays about 85 degrees, 82 to 85 degrees all the time anyway, so that'll be good for them. I'm going to set them up over here on that shelf where those ones are. So uh, once I get the other one set up, and oh, let me, I'll show you putting one of the scorpions in here. We'll get video footage of that, and then uh, we'll get the other one fixed up, and we'll get ready to go. I'll show you them both all completed, and... Well, in this video, thanks for watching. All right, everybody, we got him back there. I got him kind of halfway in a little cup, so I'm just going to kind of scoop him up, put him in here, introduce him to his little home, and let him do his thing. Hopefully, I don't get stung. So we'll uh, keep him right here. That worked out pretty good. Hey, little buddy, come on. Let me put him into this so I can introduce him right here a little bit. Come on, buddy. All right, let me focus in on them a little bit. Well, well, he went right in his hide, everybody, as soon as I put him in there. And then I tried to turn on the camera quick, and he just went right in his hide. So that's all good. You've seen me put him in there. So uh, obviously he ran to his hide. He can't be too... Disturbed, I'll just, I'm not gonna disturb him anymore. So I'll get to doing the other tank, get the other scorpion in there. I'll show you them both on the rack set up. Well, in this video, and hopefully you enjoy. All right, everybody, thanks for going along this journey with us here at My Animal House. All right, everybody, I missed that other one going in its little hide there. So uh, I'm gonna film this one too, and this one's the honorary one. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Just scoot in there, tough guy. Come on. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. There we go. Scoot him right out. All right. There's a little tough guy. He's a little ornerier than that other one. And they actually said that when I looked him up, that these are a little more, uh, they got a little more temperament than the other ones. So that's him. I don't know if he'll jet off into his hide, but that's the release of him. And uh, maybe I'll get in there and try to get a better better shot by hand. Give me a second. We'll get in there and see if we can get a better thumbnail.
All right, everybody. Sorry about the bad glare, but there they are. I got them up on the shelves. Both cages are there. So, uh, let me get it set over here. All right, everybody. That's the video. That's how I'm setting up my for my scorpions to start with. Hopefully, it helps you start your scorpions. And uh, it's just basically a base conclusion. We're going to learn along the way. So, hopefully, we can learn together. Hopefully, you enjoy this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified if I make any other videos. If you like this content, you might as well come along the ride. We're going to have a lot of videos with this, these uh, scorpions and a lot of the snakes and the other animals here at my animal house. So, till next time, take care and stay wild.